Right guys, in today's video, well actually, let me show you. Right, this is actually gonna be in the next video. This is not gonna be in today's video, but I literally found this on a marketplace and I, I could have sworn it was genuine. I had the original one, so I said, let me try and see if this is real. And it looks so real online, but you know what? When I checked it, it was a fake. So I will be doing a fake versus real on the Palm Angels. And the crazy thing about this one, is it actually came with a Certi logo, okay? Which is really, really frustrating. But um, I haven't checked that Certi logo, but I will do a live. But I'm pretty sure if I put that Certi logo in, it's gonna come up as fake. But I'm gonna do that live on the next video and I'm gonna show you what other things on this Palm Angels top made it a counterfeit, okay? Right, forget that one. Let's get on with this video. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is looking at some Canada Goose pieces. I'm gonna be doing a Canada Goose Bromley versus a Canada Goose Macmillan versus a Canada Goose Carson jacket. I'm gonna be comparing the three, having a look at them and seeing what these jackets are saying, okay? Have I got any other any other Canada Goose jackets? Um, I've got a Silver Fawn, but I've done a review on that. And I've also got a... Oh, what's it called again? It begins with B, I can't remember. Borden? Borden? Constable, that's the one. I've got a work Canada Goose Constable jacket, but I'm not gonna be covering that. I'm just gonna be covering these three Canada Goose jackets, okay? So there's been absolutely some mad deals on Canada Goose lately as well. Me and the team have found like 20% off Canada Goose on lots of different websites. If you're looking for deals, jump onto the hotsandtrend.com. Lots of people are finding all types of bargains and they're sending us messages and showing us the bargains they are finding, okay? Oof, right. Right, so the first jacket I'm going to be looking at is, that's not that one, that's the silver four, I'm not going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at this one, one of my favourite Canada Goose jackets of all time. And I feel like this jacket is not really highly rated at all. This is the Canada Goose Borden jacket. Now, this is like a bomber style jacket with real Sherlin on the um, collar. This is actually available in quite a few colours. They've got navy. I think every season they update the colours on this. So I know it comes in navy. I know it also comes in like a camo. It comes in like a green. You know, with Canada Goose on these types of jackets, it's got the Arctic Tech material, so it makes it water resistant and also a little bit of wind resistant as well. But it's very well insulated with the down insulation on the inside. We did do a water test on the Canada Goose jackets and from what I remember, water resistance on Canada the goose jackets is not as high as I thought it was. It does provide water resistance, but not a massive amount. It will keep you well protected. It's just that if there's heavy downpour, then you, you might struggle. Um, the, the, the jacket will get a little bit of water on it. It's not too bad. L let me just show you fuzzy old water container from the last time. So let's just make sure I don't whip up any of my stuff. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so you got a bit of water. You can see you got a bit of water resistance on there. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Actually, it's not, it's not too bad, but you can see it sits on it and goes in the material just a little bit more than what I would like. So you can see it's actually resting on the material. But the good news is that when you do get home and you dry the jacket out, you hang it up, it does go so it doesn't stay there. But you can notice that it does sit on the material a lot more than I would expect it. For me, sizing on Canada Goose, I'm usually, I'm a large now, so I'm definitely like a large. I could probably work with a medium back in the day, but I'm, I'm more of a large. So for me, I would usually go um, true to size large. Now, a lot of people ask me sizing questions about Canada Goose, and what I find is the more bigger the jackets, like for example, the Exhibition or the, or the Carson or the Emery, you could probably get away with, for example, going with a medium if you're a large. It, it, it really depends. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute because I've got a jacket here which is a medium. You're gonna see it's gonna fit me fine. So it depends on what level of a large you actually are. So if you're like a bigger large, probably moving on to an extra large, go with a large. If you're like a just coming on to a large, you're like a medium but you're growing into a large, then you could probably get away with a medium. I hope that makes sense. It's one of the few Canada Goose jackets that actually have leather detail on the jacket. So there's leather hair on the inside pockets. There's leather hair on the flaps of the pockets. There's also some leather trim on the sides here. You've got pockets on the top here with fleece on the inside, which is wicked. And you've got pockets on the side and there's fleece on those as well, okay? On the inside of the jacket, you've got your nice down insulation, very well made. And of course, all the information for Canada Goose is always on the inside of this label here. All the codes and the styles, but on the top, the top line on the front label, it says style number. And if you Google the style number, which is 7996M, um, 799 is the style and M stands for men's. So I think if it was women's, it would be a W or F for female, something like that. But if I, if I Google that, Canada Goose, and put that 7996M, then it will show me that it's a Canada 
goose jackets. That's a, that's another good way for you to kind of check the jackets because I've noticed a lot of counterfeits are not putting the star codes and not bothering to put the numbers. So if you don't see any star codes or numbers on the jacket, it means that that jacket is a counterfeit. Okay, right. Let's move on to the next jacket. I'm going to compare this one with. So right. So this is the next jacket. Now this is my brand new. Canada Goose Macmillan, but I'm actually thinking of selling this one. It's brand new with the tags. It's a Macmillan, which is super popular. And this particular color here is very, very rare. You will not find many of these camo colors now. It's one of the original camo colors that they came out with when they started to do camo prints. So this is my point. This is a size medium and it's, it does fit me. Even though I've got a, a thick hoodie underneath, it still kind of fits all right. My only complaint maybe is the is the cuffs. You can see it's, it could be just a tiny bit short, but I can get away with it, okay? Now, this one doesn't have a hood. There's no shirting or anything like that, but it's extremely warm. It feels very well fitted being a size medium. If I put the hood on, you can see the hood there and I've got this kind of um, funnel hood, tunnel hood funnel hood something like that it helps you to protect you from the wind so if it's blowing and the wind is blowing it kind of bounces off the hood i've actually got the canada goose um constable jacket which i've shown you already but let me just show you again okay one second boom this is it this is the canada goose constable jacket and this is also a size uh medium as well okay so let me show you the difference right so that's that one gonna show you the constables right again you can see this is a size medium and this fits me just the way I like it I think it's absolutely fine I think it was a if it was a large it might actually be too big but again I've got that same issue on the sleeves which is not really I guess it's maybe just a tiny bit short but I, I think I get away with it you've seen there, that's two size M's that fit me really well but the funny thing is if I went for the size M in the Canada Goose Bromley jacket that would actually be too small because it comes up quite high and the arms are quite small so that one actually wouldn't work okay now the next and Last jacket I want to show you is called the Canada Goose Carson jacket. Now the Carson, in my opinion, is uh, I prefer it to the uh, to the Windham. Now this is a size large. It still fits me just fine. If I had the medium, it'd just be a little bit more. It'd be a little bit more snug. But the fit is absolutely fine. It doesn't look overly big on me or anything like that. This is actually my proper size. What I like about the Canada Goose Carson jacket is a long parka jacket. Now the Canada Goose comes in different levels of jacket. You've got your short parka jacket. You've got your more. You've got your short bomber jackets, which is like the chili whack, the Borden, which I showed you where it kind of comes and sits up on the hip then you've got your mid parkers which is like the Macmillan and the Maitland which kind of sit just above your um, just below your waist and then you've got the more longer parkers like this one which is the Carson and the Emery so if you're looking for something a little bit longer this will be good because then you, what you do is you get that protection from the wind and all that stuff just past just above your thighs and just above your knees you're going to get a little bit more protection now the thing about the long parkers they tend to be a little bit more expensive they're pushing more towards a thousand pound marks which is quite expensive every year Canada Goose are putting the price up as well so Canada Goose jackets are getting expensive only two pockets on the side um, in terms of pockets this one is hasn't got that many it's got one kind of chest pocket in there as well inside we've got all the information all the tags and we've got the hologram and remember what i said to you about the first label that is where you're going to get all the information of the jacket if you google the style number you type in um, canada goose and the number then it will show you that it's a canada goose you'll see pictures of the canada goose carson and you will know that that is the correct jacket okay and um, so this one has a hood again you've got an extended hood as well so you've got the funnel hoods like that so that's going to protect you from the elements when it is raining, when it is snowing and all that type of good stuff. Again, the water resistance is more of a lighter to mid water resistance. It will protect you for a majority of the rain. But if it starts to get too hard, then the rain does seep inside the jacket. The good news is that it doesn't really affect the jacket too hard. What I would say is when you get home, make sure you try to dry it as much as you can. Because what I think happens is if you leave the rainwater on this too long, it might start to eat into the colour because you get a little bit of salt inside the rain. So make sure to dry that off as much as possible, okay? Uh, the other thing to note also is that the fur is removable, so if you want to take that off, you can take that off. And yeah, that is literally about it. I have the Bromley, which is more of a short jacket. I had the Mick Macmillan, which is a little bit of a longer jacket. And I've got here the Parker. So it really depends on which one you want to go for and which one you like. To be honest with you, I like all three of them. It, it really depends on the occasion. Today I was running around, it wasn't too cold and I wanted something that didn't have a hood. So I wanted something a bit light. So I had the um, Canada Goose Bromley. If I'm really cold, like if I'm going out tonight and it's really cold and I want a bit more protection, I would go for something like the Carson because I'm going to get that full protection. I've also got the hood. Even like this, I've put this around my neck. It kind of doubles up as a bit of a neck 
scarf as well so there's a lot going on in this jacket i would say for when you know it's going to be cold for sure then you go for something like this the macmillan is a really good jacket so if you don't want to go and extend your budget up to the thousand pound mark and you're you kind of want as much protection as possible you still want the hood you can go for something like the macmillan because it's still a good investment i think they're about 795 so you're probably going to save, save like 200 pounds off something like a carson or an emery or a langford or something like that okay i hope that kind of explains things and you find that quite useful remember if you've got any more questions go ahead and message us on facebook you can also leave some comments on the comments box below and i can try and answer your question about the jackets and anything like that okay Woo. remember look if you're looking for winter jackets like moose knuckles macage canada goose all this type of good stuff you can go onto our website thehoxandtrend.com as i said to you before we had loads of crazy deals on canada goose all from official stockists i think one thing i've got to state is that on our website we only promote official stockists that means people that actually get stuff from the brands because we get a lot of people that just want official stuff they just want it people that are directly from the brands so that's what we have on the website don't forget our new facebook group hoxton money matters if you want to find out about money matters or you're just trying to join a community that talks about how to save how to invest how to manage your money go ahead and do that join us on the facebook and don't forget guys another thing as well do not get yourself in debt over designer clothing do not do that i've heard a lot of people um racking up credit cards young people getting credit cards and not really understanding and getting themselves into getting themselves into debt um for designer clothing don't do that guys do not get yourself into debt for designer clothing because the reason being is you have these jackets for a couple of years and you look back and you just think why did i do that because you'd rather wish that you were in a better financial situation so do not get yourself into debt over stuff like this if you have the money go ahead and do it if you don't either find ways where you can invest money so later on down the road you can be looking at stuff like that if you want or even better is invest your money put it into other things that can help you to provide you with a better future this stuff is all for fun and it should not be the be all, be all and end all anyone that's just rating you just because you've got a designer clothing you wear designer clothing is not someone you really want to be trying to impress in the first place okay that's my opinion i'm out of here lots more coming peace out